Hi, Marilyn O'Hearn here with Three Minutes of Wisdom, our weekly segment. And today we're talking about what did you just say? So when you feel like saying or even shouting that, what are some other options that you have? And because we live in such an interconnected world, I invite you to write where you are from and where you're posting from today. Plus, of course, any questions, comments, likes, shares are welcome. So what did you just say? Instead of saying that, my colleague uh, in HR, Randy Wall, when someone says, you know, Latinas don't belong in the boardroom because they're not very business minded or substitute whatever cultural identity you've just heard. It could be even HR professionals don't belong in the boardroom because they're not very business minded. It could be a department or uh, a gender or an ethnicity. So how do you handle that? Well, what Randy does is he invites his colleague to substitute their own cultural identity. So they would then repeat back to him, white men don't belong in the boardroom because you know they're just not very business minded and experience what it's like. This helps build empathy, which is a huge skill, a cultural intelligence skill and necessary in our very interconnected, diverse workplace and helps break free from bias. So Randy has just demonstrated, and Randy, you know, congrats on your high CQ score on that communication technique. He's just demonstrated four of the impact steps from my book, Breaking Free from Bias. So it is, he's identified, managed, and communicated about the bias in a pretty non-offensive way and uh, with some uh, accountability. He's holding his colleague accountable. And if you want to take it a step further, or even instead of Randy's technique, you can use this technique that's based on fierce communication, uh, crucial conversations, um, and nonviolent communication. So how it would go is, you know, when you say X, the result is X, here's my part in it, and I want to resolve it. So in the case of this comment about a particular cultural group, and number one, don't forget to pull the person aside so you're not doing it in front of everyone else. That you know can be really embarrassing. The person could lose face. So you pull them aside and say, you know when you make that comment, about uh, Latinas or HR professionals or whatever group they're targeting, then you are setting the tone in our, in our organization and you can be limiting our profitability by up to 35% by either excluding this group or making them feel unwelcome. And that, you know, has a huge impact on the bottom line. And I've been really remiss in not addressing this before. I've heard some comments from you before about this. And I've been remiss in, in not addressing it before. And, um, and I want to resolve this. So those are two options that you have when you feel like shouting, what did you just say? You've got two other ways of, of handling the situation. And so I invite you to, to let me know how this works for you. And I particularly want to hear from colleagues who may be um, in cultures that are less direct and where losing face is, is more important and the, and the communication may be a little more hierarchical. So I'd love to hear how you might handle it if it's, if it's any different. So again, uh, I appreciate you tuning in and tune in next week. This is going to be a weekly segment, three minutes of wisdom. And of course, for more, you can go to my website, MarilynOH.com. So thank you.